In this video, we are going to be learning about prime factorization. So before we get into that, we have to know what is a prime number. After all, prime is in our title of what we're learning today in the video. So prime number is a number that can only be divided by 1 in itself. So here I have a whole bunch of numbers from 1 to 11. Let's see which ones are primes. Well, first we want to look at 2. 2 is a prime number because it can be only divided by 1 and 2. 3 is a prime number because it can only be divided by 1 and 3. 4 can be divided by 4, 1, but it also can be divided by 2. So 4 is not a prime number. 5 is a prime number because it can only be divided by 1 and 5. 6 is not a prime number. 6 can also be divided by 2 and 3, so this is not a prime number. 7 is a prime number because it can only be divided by 1 and 7. Let's look at 8. 8 can be divided by 2. It can also be divided by 4. Okay. Now we look at 9. 9 is not a prime number. It can be divided by 3 and it could also be divided by 9 and 3 is not 1 or the number 9. 10 can also be divided by 2 and 5. So there's 2 and 5. This one also has 3. This one has 4. It also has 2. This one here we said we have 2. Here we have 2 and 3. Now 11 is a prime number as it can only be divided by itself and 1. Now when we talk about factorizations, what I did to figure out if these were prime or not is I factored them, meaning I figured out what numbers multiply to get that number. So what numbers could divide it? That's a factor. So right here, 4 had the factors of 2 and also 4 and 1. Here we have 6 is divided by 2 and 3. So factors of 6 are 2, 3, and obviously 6 because 6 divides it. So a factor is a number that can divide a number. Oops. So now let's look here and try and do some prime factorization. So we need composite numbers in order to do this. So composite numbers. So I look at the word composite. Anything that's composite means it's made up of more than one thing. So composite numbers has more than one factor. Okay, so it's made up of more than one prime, you might say, or uh, made up of many primes, more than one prime multiplied together. So, let's take a look at an example now. Let's try an example of 32. So 32 is a composite number. What can it be divided by? I know it can be divided by 2. I'm always going to make something called a factor tree. I know it can be divided by 2. So 2 times what is 32? Well, 2 times 16 is 32. 2, we know from above here, is a prime number. So I want to circle that. Okay, 16 is not. I could divide 16 by 2. 2 again is a prime number. 2 times what is equal to 16? Well, 2 times 8 is equal to 16. Now, 8 is, I could factor this one as well. So I'm going to get 2 and 4. And then 4 can be factored down to 2 and 2. So now, what are my prime factors of 32? I'm going to end up getting 
is equal to 2 times 2 times 2 times 2 times 2. So that's 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 twos. And we have here 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 twos multiplied together to get 32. Let's try another example. Let's try 24. So I want to find the prime factors of 24. So first I've got to find any number that divides it. Well, I look here, I'm going to say 3 divides 24. 3 times 8 is 24. I could break it down and I could say 2 times 4 is 8. And we know 3 is prime and 2 is prime. Once we hit a prime, we're going to circle it. Now 4 can be broken down to 2 times 2. So what is this equal to? 3 times 2 times 2 times 2. That's equal to 24. It doesn't matter the order I write these prime factors, because uh, if we change the order of multiplication, it's the same thing. 3 times 2 is the same as 2 times 3. But normally we do write them in ascending, so it would be 2's first, then 3. Smaller numbers, then bigger numbers. Let's try another one. Let's try 30. We're going to try to find the prime factors of 30. Well, I want to break this down. Here, what, can, what is 30 divided by? 5, which is 5 times 6. That's the same thing as 2 times 3. These here are my primes. So then this is equal to 5 times 2 times 3, or 2 times 3 times 5. And these here is my answer because that's my prime factors of 30. Now, some of you might have done it a different way for 30. We could have looked at 30 and we could have gone this way. We could have gone 3 times 10. Circle 3 and 10 is 2 and 5. Well, I look at that. doesn't matter which way I do it. I divide it. I'm always going to get the same prime factors. 2, 3, and 5 all multiplied together it gives me my prime factors of 30. And that's how we find prime factors.